I haven't listened to you. So, uh, four games into the season, and you're playing your old mates again. Is this, uh, when the fixtures came out, was this one that particularly pricked your interest? Yeah, very much so. You do keep an eye over the fixture list, and obviously, having been at Leicester for four years, it was one that I was, uh, kept an eye open for. Um, looking forward to coming up against some old mates and uh, putting in a good, good shift against them. Obviously, you've got yourself, you've got Tom Waldrum, you've got Jeff Parling here as well. Now, there's a bit of a, a Leicester old boys club, so to speak, at this place. Have you been, you know, the three of you have been looking forward to this and talking about it? Yeah, there's a, there's a few of us. I don't know. It's not something that you go through day in, day out talking about it. I mean, Leicester's in the past now, and I had a good stint there, but um, the last I suppose 10 to 15 weeks I've been here, ingrained into the Exeter culture and uh, putting that under my, under my belt and trying to put in some good performances for them. Have you been able to, to help Rob Baxter and the coaching team perhaps kind of decipher a few of Leicester's tactics, things like that? There'll be a bit of inside uh, knowledge that we'll have obviously being there for, for so long. Um, but I suppose at the end of the day they've got Aaron Major who's just come in now, new coach, they'll have a new attacking philosophy, a new style of play. And again, it's just trying to add our voice into to, to the different areas where they'll look to, to try and attack us at. You obviously scored your first try and you get, get your first start, things like that. How are you adapting to life here in Exeter now that the, the, the real game, so to speak, are on the way? Yeah, look, uh, family and myself, we're, we're absolutely loving it. We've, uh, again, um, come, from, come from Leicester, but uh, we've come to a place where there's a beach, it's a bit more conducive to an Australian way of, of living. Uh, the lifestyle's very nice and, uh, and absolutely loving it. And, and again, I've had 15 or so weeks now of pre-season, got to know the boys really well. Um, and it is like home now. I classify Exeter as my home and that's the way it's been. How important is that as a sportsman, that when you move to a new town and a new city and a new club, that you do feel at home as early as possible? Oh, it's extremely important. You want to be going to a place where you, where you feel like you fit in and, and uh, are a part of. And uh, I got that from the, from the very first week. Um, I suppose we got introduced to, to the Exodus culture and what it was like to, to be a part of the team. And uh, as long as you buy into that and uh, um, be a part of that and want to be a part of that, then it's always going to be a successful move. And uh, for me, it, was, uh, it felt like home from day one. How did it feel when you crossed the whitewash for that first try? Uh, as a number seven, I don't really score too many tries, so it's always good to be on the back of, uh, I suppose, a driving mall and uh, getting, getting the ball over the white line. Um, it, was, it was good just, you know, again, with it being first start, first try, um, it was a good weekend. You know, you, you look at the, the Exeter so far, obviously that, that disappointment against Bath, but you've had two probably relatively comfortable victories, I would say, in the last two weeks against sides which, which, which aren't perhaps tipped to do overly well in the league this season. Is Leicester a real marker as to how the Chiefs have come on, do you think? Yeah, very much so. Again, it will be one of those um, upfront battles that will be a, a big test for our, for our four-pack as a whole. We've, we've shown over the last, I suppose, three weeks that we can put in some dominant, dominant performances in that area. Um, and this week against Leicester will only, um, will only test us even more so. So if we can front up in that area, then we'll be in a very good position come the back end of the year. You know, you, you talked about the forwards there, and, and, and Exeter's forward pack have, have had lots of plaudits in the last few years. What is it about that pack which makes them so formidable, do you feel? Again, we've got some, some size in that pack, but it's just that ability to, to grind together and, uh, and use that size to our advantage. And again, use the, uh, I suppose, the quicker and nippy guys who rounded off the back of that. But it's all about generating quick balls, so then we can unleash our backs after, off the back of that. Exeter's record against Leicester in the Premiership isn't the greatest. They, have, they did a double over them in, in the last World Cup season, yes. but they haven't beaten them in the Premiership since. What would it mean to you to get one over Leicester, and, and what do you feel it would mean for the club as well? Yeah, it would be a massive occasion. Again, I, I pride myself on, on, uh, on winning matches and being a part of winning teams, and you go into every match wanting to win, the, win, win that game, and obviously Exeter's run against Leicester hasn't been as, as, as great as it, as it could be. Obviously, you saying back, they haven't won since, or back to back games since 2011. So, being a, a part of a, a winning Exeter team against Leicester would be absolutely fantastic. You've played in, in very good Leicester teams and you've played at Bath as well. You, and you've, you know, you've played it, you've got to the Super Rugby final as well and things like that. What, what can this squad do this season? I know it's very early days yet. You know, you look at things like rugby tonight and things like that, and they're talking about Exeter as a possible top four side. 
What do you feel, having you know experienced the side in proper matches, so to speak, for the last three or four weeks? What can this side do, in your opinion? Look, I think, uh, I mean, again, it is early days, but the last three weeks just show, just shows what our, I suppose, attacking philosophy is all about. Um, we go out there looking to score tries, and we've been fairly, fairly good at doing that over the last couple of weeks. Um, but again, it's. It's that ability to, to trust each other, trust the coaches, trust the players and, and put in good performances and, and we're doing that. And as long as we, in, the, in our own right, um, look at each other and, and trust each other, then we'll be there. Okay, Julian, we saw two sides of the Chiefs last week. First half in particular, the attacking nature of it, with the bonus point wrapped up in 30 minutes, five tries by the break. But after the break, I think the message came in, let's show our determined dogged side. And, and we saw that from, from the boys' second half. Yeah, very much so. Again, leading into um, into that match, it was about trying to trying to get points on the board early on, and, and we did that and achieved that just through again some dogged rugby up front, um, and then some some good tries towards the back end of that first half. Um, that second half was a bit more, I wouldn't say, uh, about taking the foot off the pedal. It was just making sure um, that we kept kept playing wherever we could and we knew Newcastle were going to come out and uh, try and throw the ball around because they were chasing points. So under, under that sort of circumstances it was all about when we had the ball trying to retain it and in defence just making sure that they didn't uh, or we didn't leak any, any tries and, and we held firm. Enough. You've spoken before about the strength of the squad here of the Chiefs this year and you see guys that aren't playing at the moment but is that driving you guys in, that are in the starting jerseys at the moment to, to up your game even more? Yeah, 100% obviously there's, uh, there's massive depth in the squad at the moment. Um, you've got um, previous ex-internationals on the bench and out of outside the 23 um, and that only brings competition for places and makes it even more, well, makes it harder to, to retain your jersey and you've got to make sure that you're on song every game, otherwise there's a chance that you, if you slip up that you're going to lose your jersey. And finally, this weekend, we always talk about making you your home ground a fortress and that was something that the Chiefs really prided themselves on last year, but Leicester and Gloucester were the two sides that won here. And Is that something now that is being driven home again by Rob, that you've got to make this place really tough to beat? To, you know, for sides to come here and be tough? Yeah, very much so. Again, it's all about winning your home matches, that's key. In the Premiership, with every team that I've been a part of, it's, it's always that's the main goal. It's win your home matches and then try and get as many points as you can with the away trips. And uh, again, it, it is key to make it make your home ground the fortress that it is. And uh, again, we'll make sure we hopefully keep that record this weekend. Tremendous.